Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back for more O2 Macros Gacha videos. Yes, today might probably be the last Gacha video for my channel on Uta Macros because we are still within the two month period that Uta Macros is going to close down. Uh, so, right now, why am I doing this video? Basically, I'm going to pull the brand new guaranteed 5 star banner. Um, that Dana has actually prepared for all the fans especially for those of us who might be wanting to spend a bit more on the game before it shuts down or to spend all the remaining singing stones you can probably dig up throughout the game so yes as usual during the events of all the Yotan Cross events every month you technically can gain a decent amount of singing stones free if you actually still play the event itself. So, like I explained in my last video, um, what you should do in Utama Cross still within the next two months. Basically, yeah, continue to play the game as it is. And of course, there's one other thing I forgot to mention. Um, you know, aside from the events that's going, you can you can attain the five star guaranteed gacha ticket. You can still play regular lives, you know, you don't really have to play the event as uh, hardcore anymore. So what you are going to do is, this is why I forgot to mention in that video, <laughs> is that you can actually play the regular songs, you know, you can see there are some of them that are new and they have not been played at all. So there are singing stones hidden behind all these um, songs. So make sure you go play all these, pick up all the free singing stones from here including the event dailies um you know they, they still have event songs like this that give you resources to power up your episode plates and not that you really need to but you know it's it's still a good way to gain free singing stones as you know full combo gifts as you can see so yeah make sure you do that and then of course um there's really no reason to play the april full event songs aside from you know looking at the live um yeah, because the rewards are regularly uh, given amounts of resources to power up your episode plates. It's not really needed, but you know, it's nice that the Paper Pool songs have returned. And of course, the insanely difficult Glow in the Dark. Um, of course, rewards are not much fantastic. You know, in the past, we had the missions for this. They gave wonderful rewards, but now that the game is closing down, there's really no incentive to really make you go through this hell of a stressful song. <laughs> Except to play the S Life for archiving purposes. So, yes, guys, um, like I mentioned in the last video, if you'd like to help me out, um, because I myself, I don't have the entire costume collection in Time Across, there will definitely be a few costumes that is lacking because well, some costumes are locked behind 7 star episode plates, so that's kind of annoying. So yeah, we gotta help each other out if we want to record everything down. Um, so yeah, and there is something we have to talk about that I didn't really want to talk about, to be honest. Um, there is a petition going around, I think some of the fan groups of Macross, um, and it's to petition for an offline version of Uta Macross. Um, I'm pretty happy that people want an offline version of the game, but sadly to say, in my personal opinion, uh, it's my personal opinion that is, um, I don't think an offline version is viable because, well, I mean, you could remove the friend boring episode plate system from the game. Um, then of course it will make the high score achievement, uh, you know, mechanics in Uta Macross kind of pointless as well. You'll just be playing the songs, watching the lives, uh, which is kind of a problem because all these things regarding music has a price to pay when it comes to licensing. So for Dana to create an offline version of Uta Macross it's going to cost them even more money which I think is not a viable you know business decision um, and Macross exactly is uh, isn't exactly in a cheap property to license 
<laughs> with all the HG and BW issues um, still lingering around. You know, even though they did shake, shake hands on the situation, but still, you can see that it's affecting the world still uh, in some manners. <clears throat> the the YF19 uh, Maximilian <laughs> Valkyrie, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> even though it has the global sales sticker on it, it is actually not available to the entire world openly. Yeah, a lot of countries still missing out on being able to order the Valkyrie. So, yeah, it's it's a very tacky issue. Anyways, um... Okay guys, so I have to disturb my past self once again, because apparently, um, after recording the main content of the video initially this morning on the 2nd of May, um... After I came home from a busy day, I was checking through Twitter and apparently Dana updated Twitter with uh, requests of fans to uh, answer a questionnaire. Um, yeah, so we are now in the game and if you pull up the whole side of banners here, the questionnaire is on the second row. So let's tap this and it will bring up a whole notification, you know, and of course, um, basically it gives you the time period that you can fill up the questionnaire. So from the 2nd of May all the way to the 8th of May midnight, um, you just have to fill up the questionnaires and you'll be given 50 singing stones for free just by doing so. Um, and why is singing stones still important this, um, in this time period that the game is about to close? Well, 50 singing stones is a single pool. And of course, now that the game is closing, Dana has made a brand new gacha banner that always gives you a 5 star and above episode plate. So of course, if you are missing costumes, costume points for certain um, characters, or you know, if you are doing stuff like me, we are trying to archive the game, it's best to try and get as many costumes as possible um, so we can archive it. Um, for the the sake of Macross history, you know, Uha Macross is an iconic moment for Macross. Uh, it's probably the most popular Macross game that they've released up to date. Uh, maybe aside from, you know, considering mobile games, mobile games aside, Con and you know, console games wise, I don't think most of the Macross games really, really did fantastic, really well, except for those with maybe like the OVA releases <laughs> included with them. <laughs> so yeah. So anyways, um, fill up the questionnaire. I don't think it's that long. Just tap this underline Kochira Kara, and they'll bring you to the website to fill up the questionnaire. So all this information isn't actually necessary. So surprisingly, the button is in English. Respond now. And zero out of 65 pages? You've got to be kidding me. Is it really that long? Or is there some kind of a bug? So anyways, um, yeah. So all the information is here. So you're voting for the songs that you want to play during the last month of Uta Macross um, service. So yeah. So as you can tell in the update video when I'm announced uh, on my channel that Uta Macross is closing down, um, we know that the Miss Ma um, Miss Macross event is going to feature every single Macross series, TV series, not including the OVAs and the movies. That means so sorry, Macross Plus fans, <laughs> your favorite Macross series is not included. Um, but yeah, so SDF Macross takes the first um, part of the month. Now, of course, Macross 7 followed by Frontier and Delta according to the TV series release format. Um, so yeah, so of course the first question uh, basically belongs to SDF Macross. So choose your favorite Macross or rather SDF Macross song. So I'm going to go with this one because it is my favorite SDF Macross song. Uh, and it's also an ending song for the movie, I Oboite Maska. <laughs> and of course, Macross 7 song. Um, it would have been nice to maybe pick a song that featured both Basara and Melane, but you know, if I were to pick my favorite Macross 7 song, it's gotta be Dakedo Baby. Um, but of course, 
other Macro 7 songs are awesome as well, but personally, because Milene's kind of my Micro 7 waifu. <laughs> um, and of course, moving along with Frontier. Frontier is probably the hardest to choose for me personally. I mean, I would like to pick uh, a Ranka only song, but I feel like it's a bit unfair. Uh, because Frontier is strong with both Cheryl and Ranka, so I guess I'll go with Sayonara no Tsubasa. Uh, after all, it has Sayonara in its title, and it is kind of a very iconic song for Frontier as well, although Lion would probably do well as well, but I don't know. It just feels right with the title. Um, then, of course, for Delta, it has to be one of the two, I'm going to go with the latest Rune Pika song. <laughs> Rune ni Hanasaku Koi Mo Aru. So yeah. So okay, that's it for the second page. Oh my goodness, is this video going to be very, very long? Anyways, then of course there's this whole portion here. Um, you know, talking about the lucky draw. Only 10 players will get a uh, present of an illustrated plate. Um, so you're, they're basically asking you you know, um, which um, plate you want for which diva. So apparently there's a, the whole section here for the divas. Um, I don't know, is this the voting period? Can't be, right? Anyways, um, yeah, so they're asking you, so which diva do you want? Uh, of course, I'm going to choose Ranka. So then next, now of course here they're going to ask you about the plates that you want for the GIF. But the thing is, everything is here in text. So you have to open up Uta Macross official wiki. Um, then of course, choose accordingly to the Macross series. Then pull up the entire, you know, five star episode plate um, listing and see which illustration belongs to which name because we've always never been you know reading out the episode plate's name because it's just too much of a hassle <laughs> so i know which plates i want um because i remember the plates i want so i'm gonna choose accordingly so what are these two options about basically if you choose the top one you want the plates first illustration that means the uh, illustration before the plate evolves. So if you want the evolution illustration, you choose the second one. So here it is. I'm going to choose the next one. Um, where is my other one? Hmm. I can't recall. Okay, wait. I remember one of the other plates that I really, really wanted. Um, here it is. And I want the first illustration for it and of course if you want to know which place I chose you can go and look up the wiki itself <laughs> I'll, I'll let you guys have fun uh, figuring out which episode place I chose <laughs> okay so where is my last episode plate that I really really want ah there it is okay um, so yeah I'm actually looking at the wiki and choosing the episode plate itself where is it gotta find ah there it is okay so i want the after evolution illustration so press next and oh wait what apparently i'm done is it a glitch it's like page 5 out of 65 is it a glitch but either way it seems it says here thank you for your submission um, yeah so I don't know if it was a bug or not but hopefully it is settled because I want my 50 singing stones and maybe a chance at winning the prize although I doubt it will be given to international fans um, but anyway guys, that's it for the questionaries. Hopefully you guys would consider filling it up because 50 singing stones during this time of crucial archiving, um, it's best for you to maybe just give it a go, fill up the questionary, get that 50 singing stones, do the single guaranteed 5 star 
and above episode of Playpool and hope for all the best. Anyway guys, I'm going to hand you back to my past self. Yeah, so like I mentioned in the last um, update video regarding what you should be doing uh, in all time across now. So I did seek out your help, um, all of you. So uh, I've come to the beginning portion of the real tough archiving for this game and that is the special sequences for the particular songs with particular divas and their particular costumes. Uh, right now, I'm actually doing I Oborote Masuka uh, during the free time that I have and uh, immediately I come across a costume that I do not have which is the Stella costume from Minmei. So guys, if you want to help out with the archiving, especially for this particular costume, let me know in the comment section down below. There will be more in the future, so I will be seeking help um, on Instagram and even on YouTube with the uh, community page. I will definitely be asking for your help. Of course, I will credit you for that particular portion of that video, uh, considering that you are the one providing the S-Live footage for that costume itself. So yes guys, let me know if you want to help out in the comment section down below here in this video or on Instagram, you know, wherever I update all my Wutai Macross content, uh, usually it's just Instagram and YouTube. So, <laughs> um, so with all of that said, let's go and take a look at the uh, brand new 5 star gacha, which actually is going to last on up to the 28th of June, which is the last day of the game's operation very very sad but still um, and they actually gave a free single pool as well so all the episode plates in this gacha pool is going to end up a five star episode plate so it's going to help us greatly to uh, maybe collect all the missing illustrations that you need for your collection uh, if not it's going to be costume points for costumes that you may not attain yet and not forgetting, yes, you can gain 6-star, 7-star episode plates from this gacha pool itself. So if you take a look at the distribution list, it's a whole buttload of episode plates, cause which is the entirety of every single episode plate within Utah Macross itself. It's a lot of episode plates, and the chance to pull out the stuff that you're missing is kind of slim because of this huge amount of episode plates. But still, nevertheless, you should try. Um, so, and of course, this video is going to be slightly longer because we're going to pull all the remaining tickets for Super Dimension Gacha as well. Um, and of course, the guaranteed 5 star Gacha tickets. Eventually, there will be more down the road because of all the repeat events coming out. They will be giving you guaranteed 5 star Gacha tickets. But, you know, uh, we'll see how much I've accumulated and I'll probably do another Gacha video in the future if it is ever needed. But for now, this might be technically the last gacha video for Utah Cross on my channel. Let's see how things go. Okay, so let's start off with Super Dimension Gacha because this one there is still a probability of not attaining anything nice. So yeah, let's start off with this. We have five template pools of this gacha, and of course a single pool because there's one random wow <laughs> gacha ticket. <laughs> Alright, we did get a load bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So today's luck seems to be pretty decent since we are getting 5 Valkyrie animations. Okay, 2 red boxes and a single rainbow. Hopefully it provides costume points for something I'm missing with. Alright. Looking at the episode plate, it reminds me of all the alternate colours for some of the costumes. Second red box. Okay, I have this as well, so that's fine. Alright, more costume points for Min Mei. Here we go, the rainbow box. No evolution. Oh, wow. Speaking of Ayo Boyte Masuka, I get so much love for Min Mei. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Alright, so we got two, um, two plates that are new. Um, but, you know. This is okay. And we get one plate to evolve, so I guess that's good for the archiving. Um, considering that there are some episode plates that are just Utah Macross exclusive illustrations. So yeah. 
Alright, moving on to the next batch of 10 tickets. No load bars on this one. One single Valkyrie. Okay, no red boxes on the first bling. And a single red box. So immediately the luck goes away. A lot of Delta love right now. Alright, keep going. There's that red box. There it is. Oh, Papa Max. <laughs> Just when we were talking about the issue of your power creep. Alright, okay. Here we go. Let's go on to the third template pool. Oh, that's a really suspicious looking load bar. Here we go. One, two, three. No, no golden orb. No four, five Valkyries. Oh. Oh, rainbow box on the second bling. Interesting. Okay. Lots of costume points. Oh, what's that? Wait, Kaname's Yami Kure costume is a uh, five, six star episode plate, right? Yeah, it wasn't this. Oh, yeah, it was Makina and Reina that had the six star treatment. Okay, so I have this already. I think fully evolved as well. So it's it's okay. Not that it's necessary, but I guess it could lead to more episode ops for unlocking costumes. So it might be a good thing. On to the fourth template pool. Another load bar. Oh, five Valkyries and a Golden Orb. Very nice. Oh, I guess we're getting the rainbow box on the second blink. Oh, red boxes only. So we're going to see a plate evolve. Alright, no evolution on this one. So it's the next box. Not this one. <laughs> this one. There we go. Oh, it went all the way to a 6 star. Ooh, do I have this? I think I do. So it's going to evolve to a 7 star form. I think so. Oh, it's new. Oh, yay. <laughs> so one seven star costume down. That's not too bad. And Elto plates evolve. Okay, not too bad. There it is. The very important banner for seven star costumes. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's pretty good. One more seven star plate to knock off my list. Alright, load bar again. Oh, single Valkyrie. Not much happening for this one. Ooh, two red boxes. Three red boxes. Okay. That drink looks very suspicious. Or is it olive oil? I don't know. Okay. Oop. Is this gonna evolve? Yes, it is. Okay, it didn't fully evolve all the way, but fine. Yeah, crossover life episode plates. It's okay. They they gave Valkyrie points anyway, so I've already got all the Valkyries, so it's not necessary. <laughs> but still, you no know, points to get episode ops. You gotta look at the positive side of things. Alright. Oh, this plate evolved. Okay. Alright, so that's it for the template pools for the Super Dimension Gacha. It, it has proved to be quite useful on my own pools. So let's do the single pool from here. And let's get rid of all the tickets. Oh, it's past 12 noon in Japan already and there's more we have that free gacha pool 
Wow, three Valkyries on a single pool. What is this? Luck. Wait, it's still a silver box. Is it gonna evolve to a red box or something? Nope. So it's just a rare common plate. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so let's do that single free daily pool as well since we have it. Okay, where we get lucky with this. Oh, load bar. It's very rare to actually have good luck with the daily free pools. I've only gotten like a single 5 star episode plate from daily free pools. Oh, costume points. Oh, do I have this unlocked? I don't remember. But either way, <laughs> it's nice to know that I have it. Okay, um, so yeah, like I said, throughout the four years of playing Mutai Macross, I've only pulled out a single five-star episode plate from the service gacha, which is this free daily pools. So that's very rare of a chance to try and attain something fantastic out of the free daily pools, but still. Okay, um, let's do the single free pool from the featured banner first. This one definitely will be a 5 star as well, but will it evolve further? That's the other thing. There we go, our rainbow box. No evolution? That's fine. Okay, I've I've got this costume and the plate fully evolved already, so it's it's just an additional thing. Alright, here we go. Template pool. Let's watch all the boxes become golden. So exciting. <laughs> We've only ever gotten like one other gacha like this in the past. Alright, look at that load bar. Consistent rate of loading. One, two, three. We definitely see all five Valkyries, but no golden orb. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. So we are going to see three red boxes evolve. Fantastic, but how far will it evolve is another thing. Okay! Maki Maki Love. Will this evolve? Nope. I've seen this so many times now, I don't really need you anymore. <laughs> Alright, no evolution on this one as well. Hey! I think I only have one copy of this. So it's nice that it's going to evolve, and I remember it is having a special note attached to it, but not that it matters anymore, but it's nice. Oh no, what's with this very old episode play of Ranka? <laughs> okay, moving along. Still no evolutions on the golden boxes, that's kind of a bummer. It would be nice to at least gain one more 7 star episode play. Okay. There you go. No evolution as well. Kumo, Kumo. Okay. Double Makina Love. Who else is getting love? Ray Ray is getting more love. Nice. So all my waifus are getting love. Evolution. Oh. Makina is getting triple love. One more evolution. Oh, Ranka is getting more love as well. And only one new plate out of the whole bunch. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> At least there's some progression. A few of the plates evolve. It's not too bad. Alright, so... I can unlock Ray Ray's costume now, so that's nice, not too bad. Okay, so the rest are all like extra costume points to get episode orbs. I think we still have, yeah, we still have the guaranteed 5 star gacha tickets before we end this video. It's a pretty long one, but it is a gacha matsuri, so um, yeah, let's do this two plates straight off. 
I wonder what we will get. Here we go. Red box. Of course, they will go golden. So, oh, both of them are gonna evolve. Wow. Alright, Makina is really getting a lot of love today. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Makina, you are my MVP today. <laughs> anyway guys, that's it for today's gacha video. I don't know if I'll do any more in the future. I mean, there is technically the free template pools in the future as well. So maybe there might be more gacha videos, who knows. Um, so yeah guys, so hopefully you guys did your own pools. Oh, oh, I've not unlocked this costume for Makina. Cool. Anyways, <laughs> like, I, like I said, um, hopefully you guys have better pools than I did in your guaranteed 5 star gacha pools. I do technically have 300 singing stones still, so I had just to dig up another 200 singing stones somewhere in the game. I'm sure there is from all the songs that I've yet to play. Make sure you go do that for yourself as well and try and pull out as much of the um, guaranteed 5 star gacha banner while it's still there till the game closes uh, of course if you are willing to fund the game because you believe Utama Cross is a game worth funding why not do so within the last two months of its game service uh, it's technically less than two months now but still uh, and to show Dana the appreciation and maybe um, the hope for a newer and better Macross music game. Um, you know, even if they don't give us a offline version of Uta Macross, I believe having a newer music game for Macross and that might surpass what Uta Macross was, you know, able to do. That will actually be better in my opinion than rather having an offline version of Uta Macross. As usual guys, let me know your thoughts about everything in the comment section down below and of course if you want to help out with the archiving which is exceptionally important right now and of course your own personal pools for your guaranteed 5 star and above gacha pools what did you get? did you get any costumes that you were lacking? Uh, did you get any luckier than I did? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did manage to see like three banners appear, one seven star costume, and of course, you know, two costumes that initially I had not enough points to unlock are now unlockable, which is good for archiving purposes. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Alright, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. <laughs> Bye again! <laughs>